Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just to let you know that today I have noticed for the first time that Microsoft has rolled out a new update. So if we head over to our Windows Update update history and we navigate to other updates, I have noticed that this update was installed on my system today on the 3rd of December. Online Service Experience Pack Windows Settings Account version 3.1.0.804. Now, if I just scroll down my other updates history, I'm not seeing this update um, being previously installed on my system. So I'm guessing this is the first time this has been pushed out. And if you click on the link, learn more, this takes you over to the Microsoft support website where Microsoft says that the online service experience packs in Windows 11 improve the delivery of changes and improvements from the cloud. So by that statement, uh, this will be pushing out server-side updates to different components of Windows 11, i.e. from the cloud. Now, they carry on to say that these online service experience packs work in a similar manner as the Windows feature experience packs do, where they enable uh, Microsoft to quickly make updates, which will be server-side updates, as mentioned, to specific areas outside of a major Windows update. They carry on to say that the difference between the two is that the Windows feature experience packs can deliver broad improvements across multiple areas of Windows, whereas these new online service experience packs are focused on delivering improvements for a specific area, such as the new Microsoft Accounts Settings page. So if we head over to the Accounts Settings page in Windows 11, as many of you may know, um, this new account settings page was upgraded and received a couple of new improvements and changes uh, with the Moment 4 a feature update that rolled out and has been rolling out over the last couple of months where you can see information related to your Microsoft account including your subscriptions for Microsoft 365, links to order history, payment details and Microsoft rewards and this is where all of those will um, be displayed and this allows you to access your Microsoft account directly from within the settings in Windows 11, as many of you may know. Now, if we just head back to the Windows Update page, uh, Update History, and we just head back to that update. And Microsoft says that these online service experience packs can be identified under Windows Update, as we can see, as, and this particular one is identified as windows.settings.account and then obviously they give the version number, that version number specific to this particular um, online service experience pack. Now they also mention that this particular online service experience pack is regarding Microsoft accounts as mentioned because that's in the actual title and version of this particular update that rolled out today on the 3rd in my region. But they say that in future, more areas will be updated through online service experience packs. These additional areas will also appear under Windows Update as online service experience pack with their own area name and version information. So as an example, uh, if Microsoft is going to update the system page and start rolling out uh, system server-side updates, this could be in the future the online service experience pack could be labeled windows.settings.system instead of account, like it is with this particular update, and then that version number will change. So I thought that was interesting. And as mentioned, this is the first time I have noticed this and just wanted to bring it to your attention because we do talk about uh, Windows updates um, on the channel. And obviously, if these updates do start pushing out server-side improvements and changes from the cloud and, and, and any more online service experience packs do start rolling out for different components. Obviously, I'll keep you guys posted and in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.